Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. I am the most energetic entertainer. Mandy Supreme here with one of my favorite artists. Not only she can dress, not only does her music make you feel good at all parts of the day, she is a multi-talented artist who's on tour and had a chance to stop by with us, Miss Tia Corinne. How are you? I'm amazing. <laughs> like now that you're here, I'm, I must say, so I host, I do a lot of like parties and events here in Atlanta uh -huh. and like we'll turn up for the birthday person, right? And shout out to my dog Bosco. We drop freaky tea every time at like 12 o'clock, like for the birthday person yeah, and it right. never miss. Yeah, it never misses. Right. I love that. Thank you so much. How are you? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm just, you know, it's like our first tour and I just had my first show and I'm just like, i like really anxious and ready to just get on this bus. It's right. Tour, you know, <laughs> That's so just, hard. just sets me up for other things. Like, exactly. You know, just having my own tour. Exactly. So I'm just already thinking about the future. So, I mean, I feel good. I don't, I don't really know how I feel. I feel like kind of like maybe overwhelmed mm. but not really yeah i mean i feel like you get a chance to be up in touch you know personal with your fans though mm -hmm. right yeah i mean it's just so much stuff going on mm -hmm. it's just other than music and doing this yeah so it's just like a lot yeah <laughs> I, feel it. I feel it i feel it i feel like, it i feel it <laughs> trying to just pause yeah, like, like like, breathing out that's on, hilarious on <laughs> try to make it be a moment so um being from winston salem like what or how was life out there is is it slower like i've never been like how describe growing up out there and like how that's transitioned with you in your music career yeah it's definitely um it's, it's picked up but it's definitely one of those smaller slower towns mm -hmm. you know can pretty much get anywhere between 10, 20 minutes, live everywhere mm -hmm. in the city. Um, a lot of side streets, which I love. I love Yeah, that. back roads. Man, what? Back <laughs> Don't you think back roads is more traffic, though, than like no, regular highway? No, it's really not, though. It just depends on, because, you know, it, it depends on time of day. Because if yeah, it, you're right. If it's after school, yeah. buses. Yeah, you're going to be stuck. Yeah. You're going to be stuck. Right. You're going to be stuck. it's like, you know, in the morning, at night. Yeah. You'd be good. Yeah. You're right. You yeah. in there, in and out. Sometimes you just want a different, like a different route. It's yeah. different scenery, right? You know, I'll take the long way. Like sometimes it's just fun. Yeah. Now, what, what, what do you say you like it better up there than you know being in Atlanta? Or like... Yeah, I, I love Winston. I don't think I'm. A... Really? I probably have like a place in like L.A., but I, I probably just get my own land out there and just build something like. But it just keeps me grounded. Like I just yeah. love the the nature and just. I don't know. I like the peace that I get there. Yeah. And the realness. Like, from my, I have, like, a real friend, like, real family. Mm -hmm. And uh, my daughter's getting making friends. Yeah. You know? But I think, you know, I definitely want a place in L.A. So when I come, I can bring my mom mm -hmm. and my kid and just. But, yeah, I'll probably just get some land out there, like, some acres, buy some shit. Right. Just, just make your own world out yeah, there. Yeah, because I want to have, like, a little, like, my own little farm, like, the type of thing where I'm, like, growing fruits and veggies. <laughs> That's hard. Like, That's hard. I want to be able to, like, bring my friends on, like, I don't I don't want to be so close to you. Yeah. But I want to be able to drive, like, my little golf cart. Right, babe. Yeah, how are you? Your, your friends, your kids, I see your kids outside. Yeah. Like, almost like a little village. Yeah, like, community. That's how I be. So I think that is, like, a great place to do it at. That's hard. Um, so, like, musically out there like what were people jamming i know you say you're a big gucci man fan right i love gucci Mane. so like what were people like jamming like when you were coming up around the time like middle school high school well i mo i mostly listened to like my brother was always playing the heat mm. like he's, he's like older than me mm. so he was always playing like project pat mystical mm. like you know biggie um he was playing joel santana oh you know, the, the classics Man. Yeah, so, and, like, of course, Wayne. Right. Like, all the Carters, like, oh, my God. Something <laughs> you forgot is yeah. shit, like. Psh. What's your favorite Carter? Dude, I'm scared to answer somebody, like. I just had this argument with someone. I think it's, two is the best. Why, though? I mean, just sonically, like, listening to, well, actually, I actually I take that back as one, simply because of uh, I'm the Greatest Rapper Alive, like, the skits that he had through there, it just, it, it felt like I was in the studio with them, right? It was weird. Which one was I yours? I don't know. It's so hard. I know. I, they all have, like, different feelings. Yeah, they all have different feelings. It's like, tones, like, yeah. different, it's like, how can you choose? They're yeah. not even, they're all separate. Right. I don't know. I love them all. In a way. Um, musically, um, Lotto was one of your first like crazy songs that mm -hmm. uh, came about. I remember seeing it crazy early on TikTok. I remember yeah. you said that it would start off early on TikTok. And when I heard it, I downloaded it immediately, immediately. And I feel like it was one of those 
songs that actually got trends going, yeah. if you will, on TikTok. So like what can you say has TikTok like contributed or taken away or like added to your career in any way? Yeah, um, you know, well, when that first happened, uh, TikTok was very, like fairly new. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know how to work TikTok and understand like now how I do now. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like that's kind of was like, you know, very fresh on like the music and mm -hmm. putting people on and like, mm -hmm. I don't know, figuring out the streams and stuff. So yeah. uh, I feel like it definitely helps because if you, aren't known at all yeah. you can literally just put the song on it and like there you go everyone around the way is like you know you just mm -hmm. you just immediately can earn fans mm -hmm. but what also sucks is that i think people don't like your song doesn't isn't like a respectable song it's more so just it's a TikTok song mm. you know and it only some people sometimes you go only like 15 seconds of the song and that's not you right. want me personally i want you to like the whole song like yeah i don't like to get labeled as like oh that's a TikTok song like, no, yeah this is a song you listen to the whole thing and you gonna and rock out yeah with the it. whole thing because yeah i'm gonna lie i don't heard a few songs and it ain't hit all the way like, <laughs> like i only like it for like that yeah, but like, why part. would you? I feel like I feel like it ruins it for real artists because people are like, well, as long as I got good fifteen seconds, mm, there, I'm and good. So making music is not mm. as like passionate anymore. You know? It's mm. just like I just all I gotta go do is make fifteen seconds of the song good on TikTok, yeah. and I'm up. Yeah, and like I feel like the goal and the passion for music has been watered down. Yeah, definitely. Just yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll so also like to add, like with, for example, Freaky T, right? The song is layered, right? So it's like, it's that upbeat pattern, then you're walking it, then it's kind of like that flow, right? I mean, your relationship with Honorable C, you know, like how do you choose, like what's your process of choosing beats? I mean, like your writing style, like how is that? Um, it's all over the place, honestly. I don't really have, I just like freestyle, you know? Like mm -hmm. I remember just going to his house and he's like, he was talking to somebody in his living room. He was like, yo, just run through the beats, whatever you like. And mm -hmm. I was like, all right. I think that was like literally, I just picked something random. Mm -hmm. And I think that was like the first beat I played. And I, it just, for me, it's like, I know when I love a beat like two seconds in. Mm -hmm. I can just tell the way it like hits me. It's just mm -hmm. something about it. It can be like one little thing that my brain just like kind of tingles like. I, like I can't wait to get on it, yeah. Like, I can keep listening to it, listening to it, and listening to it. It's like, I don't know. Like, I just knew, like, that's the one for me. That's hard. Like, I just knew immediately what I was going to do. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. And so writing that song, like, the writing process is different. Also with the beats, too, because I can pick a beat, start on it, mm -hmm. and, like, 10 minutes later, I'm like, uh, I'm not really feeling this as yeah. much as I thought. Does that happen a lot? Yeah. You know, especially if I go a long time without recording, like, yeah. the first two songs, to me, are always kind of, like, mid. Mm -hmm. like, they're, like, they're, they're okay, but they're not, like... It's like the warm-up. Yeah, and then that third day is, like, it's like, it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting into it for real. Yeah, so it's not really no, like, particular way. I just mm -hmm. kind of just go in there and, like, just be free, and I don't think about it. I just do it. And yeah. If I decide not to do it, if I decide, I just do, I just let it flow, man. Um, same with writing. Like, you know, I was just, I was in there with Manny. He's Key Glock's engineer mm -hmm. and on tour with us. He's DJ for me, too. Mm -hmm. Key Fire. And um, I, I had just changed my name to Tia Freaky Ass on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we were just talking about that because I think mm -hmm. I just said something outrageous and we were just joking. And we are just in there drinking, having a good time. Uh -huh. And like, um, um, I think... I was kind of talking shit, kind of, because yeah. it's always like somebody always trying to like low key sneak diss me sometimes. <laughs> and you know, I just feel like I'm on another level. Like, I'm not even about to give you the time. I'm yeah, gonna, exactly. I'm not gonna fall into that. Mm -hmm. but I just do it on my music. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you on my music because I know you can't rap it. Right. So I'm a kid. You better pop beat. it now. So it was just a joking around. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. Beat, but she wanna be. Call me freaky T. And we just laughed. He's like, no, that's it. That's hard. He's like, put it down. I'm like, <laughs> It just... Don't you feel like sometimes that's like the best way to like make music of now? Of course. Just, that's what it's about. It's about having fun. So I try to explain to people like, you think people get in there and focus, like especially when you get with a label, you know, mm. it feels like business, you know, having fun. Mm. Like you have to remember to have fun and that this is just fun. If you really love it. Yeah. And that's why I say it's the difference between rappers and artists. I feel like artists just naturally just have fun because it's a love of art. Mm. And art has no limitation. Art has no... Yeah. Boundaries. Has, yeah, you have to do with this or you need a hook in a... You know, you just do. Yeah. Rappers mostly are 
it's a different story. So right. I can speak on that because I'm not, I'm not a rapper. Right. But um, yeah, you just have fun. That's what it's about. If you really love it, yeah. that's what you naturally just do because you love you just The passion for it. Yeah, you just got to keep that passion. It shouldn't be hard if you really like love it. Yeah, that's dope. Um, I mean, with blowing up how you did, I mean, I'm sure you've ran into some crazy people that you, I'm pretty sure you never thought that you would meet. What is like one person that you've met that you've been like, yo, I just met this person? Um, I think, well, because I love Wiz, so I met him one time. That's was hard. Like, what was that like? Where were you? Oh, uh, I was at uh, P. Diddy's 50th birthday party or something Five. like that. Yeah. That was a while ago, but mm -hmm. just, I like, I, I was inspired by him, but like, I love Wiz. Yeah. You know I mean, he taught me how to roll my first, like, Say swear. Yeah, like I watched that video of him in a jacuzzi making this little filter with, yeah. the, with the W in the side. <laughs> I just knew I was with Khalifa. That's like, hard. So just him walking up and him having his little ball, and he's like, <laughs> With the laugh. Yeah. And then we just had this moment where, like, um, yeah, there was like an after party thing that mm -hmm. he had in this like, little back white his house mm -hmm. and shit. <laughs> and like, Wiz had his shades on, but like, you know. But you could tell somebody like looking at you, even though they have shades on. Yeah. And he, he did like a little show dance, and then I did it, and then we was just doing it. <laughs> and then it was, that was just a little moment I had with him. But That's I was hard. like, I That's love fire. This. Because then after that, recently, mm -hmm. I was, you know, there's a lot of mashups with Freaky T. So um, mm -hmm. there's this one that he did with Tenny Pinnacrass, whatever the fuck, uh, TKO. Yeah. yeah. And so a lot of people, that started going crazy. Yeah. And so Wiz actually was like vibing to it. So they weren't. Like, That's hard. That's hard. So that just was... That's fire. I loved it. That was definitely one of those. With all the love that you're receiving, right, for all your fans that's watching, like, what's next? Um, I know tour is happening right now. Like, what yes. can they expect from Tia, like, immediately? Yeah, so, I mean, there's definitely going to be a remix to 50T. Five. Can you... Nope, I can't. <sighs> Do that. You can't even hint at no, it? I Pop. Can't. Okay, can we guess the genre? Pop artists? Hip-hop artists? They could be, they could be both. I don't know. Boy or girl? I don't know. I just know I it's gonna hit. I if the regular I version can't. is, I'm, I'm excited. But the video, I think we're gonna shoot it here. So okay, fire. Like, I'm, it's, I'm, I'll say this: it'll be here, and you have the opportunity to pull up. That's so fire. Saying. So it's gonna be like Freaky T, like the video I did. Yeah. Just on a thousand. That's hard. But uh, yeah, so we got a um, remix video coming soon. Um, you know, I got booked in Germany and just doing all these Fire. festivals I'm gonna be doing. And then probably before the end of this year, I'll probably have my own tour. Exciting. So, well, you know I'm coming. Right, so it's gonna be lit. Super yeah. lit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is another edition of Hot 107.9 Digital Interview with the world renowned Tia Korean. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.